Okay, this is Neil Pitwari. I'm going to talk in this segment about coherent MRAFSK and how to come up with the probability of bit and symbol error expression from the union bound. So with coherent MRAFSK, we don't have an exact expression that uh, comes out to be a neat little formula. Instead, I'm going to show you how to use the union bound to come up with an expression for the probability of error. And so I've taken the liberty of copying the uh, constellation diagrams for FSK for m equals 2, m equals 3. And if you forgive my uh, use of this red line as a fourth dimension, then I'm drawing for FSK, just to give you an idea of some, some of the intuition behind the math. So the union bound, again, says that we use this formula. We look at the neighbors of i. Uh, the neighbors of each symbol. And so let's think about that. In our 2FSK, we have each symbol has one neighbor. In M equals 3FSK, each symbol has two neighbors. And in M equals 4FSK, each symbol has four neighbors. So um, we're talking about M minus one neighbors. So this uh, sum is going to be over m minus 1 neighbors. And the next thing is, what are the distance to those neighbors? What is the distance to those neighbors? Well, uh, you can see it here in m equals 3 FSK. These distances are identical. They're both um, a away from the origin, so to calculate this distance, we can use the Pythagorean theorem uh, to come up with the fact that this distance, d, is equal to square root of 2 times a, if you know this is a away from the origin. So all these distances are going to be the same, so all these cube function terms are going to be the same. So when we write this expression again, we're going to have 1 over m. Um, we're going to have the same exact cube function. So we're going to multiply by capital M different symbols. And we're going to multiply by the neighbors of each symbol, which is, like we just said, m minus 1 neighbors and the cube function with the distance being the square root of two, that quantity squared. So I'm gonna have two a squared divided by two n naught. And it's our standard practice to write the cube function in terms of the energy per bit. Here, let's talk about the energy uh, per bit in terms of a, the energy per symbol, let's start out with the energy per symbol, is 1 over m times the energy of each one uh, added together. But this is just a sum, again, of m times the a squared, because every symbol is exactly a away from the origin, so its energy is a squared. So we get a squared for the average energy per symbol, and the average energy per bit, then, is uh, a squared divided by log base 2 of m. So what we do is we plug in for a squared. This means that a squared is equal to energy per bit times log base 2 of m. And so we can rewrite this expression canceling the m's. We've got m minus 1 times the cube function of uh, the twos cancel, and the a squared becomes energy per bit times log base 2 of m. I'm going to write this log base 2 of m out front, and then the eb over n naught. And that's it. That's our expression for the probability of symbol error with MRE FSK. So the question is, what is the probability of bit error? In terms of the probability of symbol error, um, we just said 